right. I can finally talk again. So let's let's say stuff. Uh, looking at your email, I'm also old and sick and confused. Um, you said you had a lot of thoughts about the robot gun pose, and this is what you came up with. I'm totally confused because I have this and this, and I'm not sure what you mean with the gun pose, and uh, this is what you came up with. So uh, maybe you're missing an attachment. I only have two attachments, so I don't know. Uh, let me know. This is probably me being old and confused. Uh, other than that, when you say the hands a bit too clean, what do you mean? Uh, do I make it dirty and how? So by clean. Uh, it's usually clean stuff is when, like, imagine that hand is down here, uh, you know, behind it, whatever, behind the door, and then it kind of whoop, goes up, and it will kind of just kind of rest there. It's almost like a mechanical clicking of from here to here. And if you if you touch something, if you want to hold on to something, it could be like those fingers might get there first, and then you would have over I don't know seven frames an adjustment where. You can feel the tightening of the hand. Uh, the palm is actually really now resting on, on the door. You know, whatever example would be for hand contact, but something where the hand doesn't just get to the object and then stops. Um, like imagine you grabbing uh, a bottle, but not like forcefully and quick. It's just you grab something, you put your hand there, but then you have to have a slight adjustment and then you have the actual grip and you lift it, for instance. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can add to make it um, just less clean, basically. But if I go back here, like actually, this would be a great example too. Um, I wish this thing had a zoom function, but so if you look at your hand here, that that super clean. See, it goes from this pose, boom, and then that's it. There is no like you can see how this is straight and it stays straight versus you could get to this, uh, you know, in a pose like that, finger somewhat curled around. And over maybe 10 frames as she lowers and as this elbow goes lower as well then you get to this with the thumb adjustment maybe slight curling over the fingers um but you can also see how the hand is not really visible so just, even just silhouette wise this might be too much to show your arm like this you know she ends up being too like howdy cowboy like um so you might have to go in like that which might not be enough room uh so you might have to See how she shifts over this way? You might have to shift over to the left. What does that mean? Oh, which you could. She could do this, take that step, and then because of that step, it's this leg. Uh, sorry. I'm being an idiot here. And readjust here. I like this program for critiquing, but I wish it was a couple presets of sizes. Anyway, what I was drawing off screen was that basically it would be cool to shift over this way so that your body like her butt is here her back is here so that you have a bit of this so you know she can have her hand like that that's maybe a bit more cliche woman like but you know that could be something so elbows in and now you see the forearm and you see the clean silhouette of the of the wrist and by doing that so when she takes a step here see how you swing over to lean over this leg which is fine but what if you don't do that, you stay there, and when she takes a step, it's actually the step and this leg that pushes this way. For her then, instead of going this way, she leans over this way. And then when she goes this way, instead of you doing just a rotation here, it actually would be nice because then you push off with this leg and she translates over for a weight shift to get into this, which would also add some more complexity and everything. I think that would be kind of neat. And don't forget, translates here as well. Like this seems uh, ever so slightly one, two, rotating, pivoting off the feet. So you have this pivoting over. Then we get to this foot. Then we pivot over this foot. And then we pivot. Eh, this one's not too bad. That's a good shift there. Um, but this and this feels a bit too one, two, clean uh, rotations, pivoting over the legs. This is also a bit too in sync where your hand and chest are moving at the same time. Like you'd be like this and then she would turn her head first. So, you know, she could be like this, but that chin pointing this way would be pointing this way. And only then would this come into play. That's cool. I like that though. 
This lean back is a bit simple when I look at this. I don't feel the hit. Like the hit. Not that she has to hit the wall, but you want to feel something where the chest reacts and then the head reacts. They will be separate. I think this is good. I wonder if you could almost push it slightly more like for a little bit of a offset. It's just something where we, we're, we're headed way away from like straight away from the camera in a uh, perspective that doesn't really add much from here to here. This was almost like she's scaling back. So, you know, if you look at your root, it's almost like the root goes, the root goes perfectly away from us. Maybe you can do, I don't know, play, try to play around with it maybe a bit more to the side with a slight Y rotation. So, so she hits this on one butt cheek and then as she rests here, then she puts the second butt cheek on to be flat on us. Anything so it's not always super flat during movements. That's not too bad. Could you also next time submit, um, which I can totally do here. Sorry, I just opened them separately in the program, but um, what's the word? Like one after the other. I can open them in QuickTime and do it myself. Never mind, I, I can do it myself. But those are the notes for this guy. And then this one. That feels a bit fast. Whoop, right there. That over feels a bit rushed. Like she comes down, stops, moves over, stops, and then starts the line. Like if you can, like this is all cool. I love all this, but even her arms down are fast. Whoop! Like she's trying to get them off screen, and also intersecting a lot. That's cool. I like that that off screen grab though. That's great. But then she gets very simple where she has that. That move back with the head. That seems mostly in here, not much in here. And then it's just kind of nothing there, you know? So I think you're definitely headed in the right direction. It feels like you're inching there. You got to take some bolder steps in terms of... You can start, you know, offsetting things. Even like shoulder stuff is not offset. You can start that in your initial... You know, in your passes to put offsets. Think about weight. If she leans over, how that head might lean on this. Not just be so straight you want to feel contact through here I mean she does all this here imagine that grabbing here there might still be a slight pivot off the root like off her bunsies she could rotate and kind of not inch around and scoot around but some things where it does it's not just translate down now I'm done now I'm doing nothing with the root anymore because now it's just all in here so uh, I'm not sure how you pro, um, your processes, uh, if you kept shooting re reference or if you have new reference for this, you know, I would always reshoot reference. Like now you're in this stage. Well, let me shoot reference with this, this angle. And, and that's exactly what you're going to shoot. You find something where you lean against it and you do all those moves and you, you do those moves 20 times just to see what happens. And you can pick up things here and there for complexity. Um, so yeah, I would make sure that you start offsetting things that this down is not as simple. Like she comes down and that's kind of it. So, and then transitioning into this, not so it's not so one, two. And then this here feels a bit simple too. There's that, that neck, the head back feels like it's just a translate back. It doesn't involve any of this and any of this. So just keep going with uh, mechanics. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.